Hello guys, welcome back to class. Um, today we'll be looking at um, an equation, an expression rather. Uh, it says find the value of x for which this expression is undefined and b says zero. Now, it's, it's just straightforward. If you understand what these two things means, you'll know what you're supposed to do. Now, when an expression is undefined, now look at this. If I have zero, over 5 it's going to give me 0 right but if i have 5 over 0 it's it is undefined 5 over 0 is undefined whereas 0 over 5 is going to give me 0 so 5 over 0 is undefined so you see the only way this expression can be undefined is when the denominator is 0 you see that so whenever the denominator is 0 then the expression is undefined so i'll just say that for the expression now for this expression to be undefined it means that let me just leave the sentence it means that x plus 4 into x plus 3 must be equal to 0 for it to be undefined right now if you look at it this is um, a factorized form of a quadratic equation so it means that from here my x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0 so here x is going to be minus 4 or x is minus 3 so that's it so for this expression to be undefined then it's either x is minus 4 or x is 3 if x picks any of this value then it is going to be undefined then for it to be defined, it says that when the numerator is 0, so 0 over 5 gives you 0. So the question is, when can this be 0? That's what the B said. When can it be 0? And it can only be 0 when the numerator is equal to 0. So that brings me to the B part of it that says the numerator must be equal to 0 before this whole expression can be 0. So getting my value for x here now. I'm going to have this so my x is going to give, give me 1 over 3 you see it's very simple once you know what these two things mean the expression you have here I'm going to glide through them and they are looking very I'm going to be looking it's looking very simple so I want you to try this one you have um, 2x squared plus 4x over 4x minus 2 um, so try this one when is this equation said to be undefined and when is it also said to be equal to zero when you are done you have to um, put your answer in the comment section and i'll do right to check it if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so that i'll be among the first persons that will get all my videos as they come out until then i'll see you in the next class bye